Hi, my name is Vince and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'm going to go over multi-body sheet metal parts by showing you an example of one and telling you why you would use this in your design. So in SOLIDWORKS you might already be familiar with multi-body parts and when you're using just a solid model that means that you have two separate bodies within the same part file. Now these bodies can be touching or not touching. If they're not touching physically in the, in the model, SOLIDWORKS automatically makes them as separate bodies. If they're touching, you can click off a merge result and that'll make it so that your, bot, your part is now a multiple body and the new feature doesn't get absorbed into the other part. So the advantage of using multi-body parts is that if you make a change to one of the parts for example this this is actually a multi-body part here so you can see that we have this router table and we actually have the tabletop and the four legs now if I expand this out the top is one body and these table legs are four bodies so I can make a change to the tabletop so it changes to 275 here and you can automatically see that the table legs resize because I changed the router table. So that's definitely one advantage there. I can also assign different materials here. So uh, the top is this AISI 304 stainless steel while the legs are AISI 316 stainless steel. Also. If I go down to my sheet metal feature, I can click on that and I can see that the tabletop's made out of 16 gauge stainless steel, whereas the table legs are made out of 18 gauge, so I could have different gauge materials within the same part. Now I've shown you what it can do, let's make one. So right here I have the router table top, uh, I haven't started a new part so I'm just going to click this inside face here and I'm going to create a new sketch and just make a section view on the front plane so I can easily see the inside of this part and I'm just going to do a quick little sketch here of my table leg. Alright line tool make this and then just add in some dimensions here to fully define my profile Sorry, one more the overall length. Okay, great. I have my profile here. I can exit out of the sketch and I'm just gonna do a quick revolve boss base. And I wanna make sure I turn off this merge result here. So that way, when I hit the green check, now in my cut list, just like in the example I showed you, I have two different bodies here. So I have the tabletop and then I have this revolve. Now, I'm gonna isolate this, go over here, isolate it, and now I'm actually gonna convert this into a sheet metal part. So just can click on the convert sheet metal, change to 18 gauge, pick my neutral face, and then my bend line, and that made it a sheet metal part. So that's the first, my first leg here, and you can see if I right click here, update my cut list. Now I have separate cut list items for each one. Also, if I go down here to the bottom of the tree, I have separate flat patterns for each one. So I can unsuppress each one and I can see the flat pattern of the leg. 
Uh, Got to suppress that again first, or the flat pattern of the tabletop. All right. Also, with these multi-body parts, you can create explosions. So if I go over to the configuration tab, right click and say new exploded view, I can just click on this table leg, explode it down. And now I have an exploded view that I can use for my drawings. So that's basically multi-body sheet metal part creation. Um, I hope I have explained it properly so that you guys will know how it's it's a powerful thing to use in your designs. And um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, thanks so much for watching.